hallelujah i greet you in the name of the most high lord jesus christ today i'm going to talk to us about an important subject i titled this message seek god first in good and bad times you know the book of proverbs chapter 8 verse 17 says i love those who love me and those who seek me find me praise god and jeremiah 29 verse 13 says you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart and i ask myself so many questions around this to say where in the scripture do we have one who truly seek god there is no other one apart from abraham there is king ezekiah three things happened which i want to share with us and these things point towards how we seek god in our individual rights not in the rights of our pastors or our brethren or our father or our parents no we come to God to seek him individually for instance in the book of Isaiah if you read chapter 36 and 37 there was a there was war during that period and the king of Assyria sent a letter to Hezekiah even boasting in the letter that let us see what your God can do all the gods of other nations that have captured their, God, their gods couldn't do anything. And what did Hezekiah do? He seek the face of God. He sent messengers to the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah sent words back to him, telling him that telling him not to fear that Jehovah God is with him. You know, a lot of times as Christians, when we have setback or when we hear of rumors of tribulations, we panic instead of taking this to God, taking our trials and tribulations to God. Secondly, not too long after that, Hezekiah fell ill to the point of death. And the Lord Jehovah God sent Prophet Isaiah to him again to say, this sickness is unto death. What did Ezekiah, Ezekiah, King Ezekiah do? He turned his face to face with the war and he began to remind God of the things that he had done. Just before, on his way, the Lord spoke to Prophet Isaiah to go back to inform Hezekiah that he had heard his cry that he will extend his life for another 15 years and you if you find that in the book of Isaiah 37 if you just go straight to verse 6 or read the whole chapter praise God and also if if in the book of Isaiah 38 verses 2 and 5 read it praise God and immediately when Hezekiah, when Hezekiah recovered, something strange happened. He got visitors from Babylon with gifts. They came to him, they said, oh, we heard you, are, you were sick, but now you are aware they brought gift." And Hezekiah opened his, his heart, just as any of us would do, you know. Opened his heart to the visitors. He showed them everything, his armories, including things that gifts and things that his four fathers and past generations had gathered when the visitors left prophet Isaiah came to him to say what did you tell these people and he opened up to say i showed them everything that i had and Isaiah and Isaiah told Isaiah that listen time to come in time to come in years to come these people will come because of what they've seen. They will capture all your family and your family will be made chambers 
in their palaces. Strangely, Ezekiah's response surprised me. Ezekiah said the important thing is that there is peace in this time. And I asked myself this question, why did Ezekiah state the fact that there is peace in this, in this time? The simple truth I tell you brethren is that our Christian work, we have to work it alone. That's what the Lord just showed me. It's not about who we follow. It's self. Self-appreciation, self-recognition of the Lord that we serve. That is what it means to seek God in good and bad time. The generation to come, they will look after this. They will seek God for themselves as well. God bless you as we listen. Share this video. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name.